You are now locked in with Mustafa's Beats. Today I'm going to show you what Mustafa's Beats Drum Rehab is about. What we're going to do is I'm going to load it in Drum Rehab and I'm going to load an instrument in with some selected drums on it. And with those drums, I'm going to show you how Drum Rehab can transform the sound of your drums into something that's more industry standard. So first, let's go to Create Effect and let's locate where you installed Mustafa's Beats Drum Rehab. Mine I installed on my desktop. Click on it and hit OK. And now you have it loaded. Load your drum machine or your instrument. In my case, I'm going to load Kong. I usually like to put Kong on top and the drum rehab on bottom. Let's load some Mustafa's Beats drums in there. And go to your kicks. We'll use this kick here. Now let's find out where this kick is located, which is located on my desktop. And let's load that into Kong. And that's Mustafa's Beats kick one. Now we have that drum loaded into the Kong. That is the default sound. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it up in a way where we can A and B the drum rehab and the Kong by itself so we can see how it sounds versus one another. So first what do you want to do is go to create spider audio merger splitter. You're going to hit the tab key to tab to the back to see where the routing is. Unplug everything. So now what you want to do is you want to route the Kong into the right side input of the audio merger splitter. And then you want to route one of the outputs of the audio merger splitter into the combinator, which is the drum rehab. And then you want to route the drum rehab into the first channel of the mixer. And you want to route the second channel of the audio merger splitter into the next channel. Now you can tab back to the front. So now, as you hit on your drum, now you have it going through both channels. Now all we have to do is hit solo on each channel to A and B between both. This will be your drum rehab channel if you remember previously where we routed the drum rehab into the first channel the second channel will be your Kong will be the raw version of your drum sounds so now let's try putting some thickness into the drum for the drum rehab Now let's A and B between both to see which one sounds better. There you can see a significant change. A sounds way thicker than B. So let's take it a step further. 
You can also add a little distortion in it to give the kick a little bit more presence. So let's start with turning up the distortion level. Now we can start adding a little distortion into the kick. And there you have it. Now you have a once. There you have it. Now you have, which was once a stale kick, now has thickness and more presence.